KGB agent goes to a library and sees an old Jewish man reading a book. What are you reading, old man? He asks. I'm learning Hebrew, comrade, replies the old Jew. The KGB agent asks, What are you learning Hebrew for? You know it takes years to get permission to travel to Israel. You will die before you get one. I'm learning Hebrew for when I go to heaven, so I can speak with Moses and Abraham, replies the old man. How do you know you're going to heaven? What if you go to hell? asks the KGB agent. The old man replies, I already speak Russian. <laughs> it was a balding, white-haired man who walked in one Friday evening, accompanied by a beautiful, much younger woman. He told the jeweler he was looking for a special ring for his girlfriend. The jeweler went through his stock and brought out a $5,000 ring. The man shook his head and said, No, I'd like to see something more special. At that, the jeweler returned with a ring from his special collection. Here's a stunning ring for only $40,000, the jeweler said. The young woman's eyes sparkled, and her whole body trembled with excitement. Seeing this, the old man smiled and said, We'll take it. The jeweler asked, How would you like to pay? The old man replied, By check. I know you need to verify it, so I'll write it now. You can call the bank on Monday to confirm the funds. I'll pick up the ring Monday afternoon. Come Monday morning, the jeweler, clearly furious, called the old man and said, Sir, there's no money in that account. I know, the old man replied with a chuckle. But let me tell you about my weekend. <laughs> a wealthy old man is on his deathbed, but he has no heirs. However, he has three close friends, a teacher, a doctor, and a lawyer. He calls them to his side and says, I'm dying, and I wish to be buried with half my wealth. I'm giving each of you five million dollars, and I want you to bury half of it with me in my casket when I die. All three friends agree. Shortly after, the man passes away. At the funeral, as the casket is being prepared for burial, the teacher speaks up. I'm sorry, he says. I saw so many children who couldn't afford school, so I used the money to build one for them. I have nothing left to bury. The doctor follows. I'm also sorry. I saw many sick people who couldn't afford treatment, so I built a hospital. I don't have any money left either. The lawyer looks at both of them and exclaims. What kind of friends are you if you can't even honor his dying wish? Then, he places a check for $2.5 million on the casket. <laughs>